Alrighty, YouTube Suzuki maintenance freaks. I guess that's why you come to the Captain Dave Sport Fishing YouTube channel, Jacksonville, Florida. Because we're over here at the Jetty Wolf Fish Camp. We need to make things last. We need to have them top notch. That's the reason why I do so many maintenance videos. Well, just the other day, I did a live stream with my dumb phone. And the reason being is the day before, I picked up some of this West Marine Salt Off Concentrate. Concentrate. And it's really concentrate, let me tell you. If I'll put a link in the video description or the first comment pinned or the end screen where there's like the video inside. So either way, I did this video about using this concentrated salt off in my barrel here underneath my Suzuki and I dumped about a half a gallon in there or more and I used my pump. I got a big submersible, like 1600 gallon per hour pump or something, 1200 something. It's not a marine pump, it's like a giant sump pump. And I ran a hose from it up to this rear flushing port. So I didn't get in here and pull out thermostats and go all that crazy. I just said to myself, I want to see if this stuff does anything. And I mentioned, <clears throat> I guess, probably in the comments of that video, that there's a possibility that we'll never know if it worked. Well, I let it run for an hour, sitting here just pumping through the engine, and it created what the video was called a Suzuki 250 bubble bath. It bubbles and makes a foam. Maybe it's because I had too much. I don't know. But either way, I had one of my regular viewers, Larry, and he made mention, wouldn't it be sort of nice to be able to stake an anode and put it in this stuff. Take an anode and put it in here and see what it does. Well, how about better yet than that? Because probably it doesn't eat up the anodes because it's not an acid, it's a protects against engine corrosion, removes and prevents salt deposits. And now I'm going to pull an anode, I'm gonna pull this bottom anode right here. It's very easy to do, take the bolt off, toot, 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 pop it out and the anode's right on the other side here. Just like Yamaha's, they got them. Suzuki's got them. So I'm going to pop this off. This engine has not moved since yesterday. I have not done anything. What I did is I did that concentrate in the barrel and then afterwards I flushed it out. Because usually when you pull those anodes out, oh they're very salty because it's a disturbance in the water. Water's flowing through your engine, right? It's flowing. And then there's these anodes sticking out, these obtrusive little knobs, and that's where the salt really collects. So every time I pull them out, they're caked with salt. But then the inside of the engine, I can stick my fingers all in there. I don't get any salt. Since I run out in the barrel, and I run my engine out in the barrel every single time it ever touches salt water. So let me get some tools and get this request from Larry sort of with a twist let's get this started well if you're a suzuki maintenance freak you've seen me do this i don't know how many times you take this out this bolt that's an anode that's an anode that's an anode for the water jacket i guess i don't know what is that what they call it the water jacket this is a fine threaded bolt and it goes in here so you can wiggle wiggle this cover off 
is the anode is on the back side and it comes right out. All right. These have been cleaned probably 30, 40 hours ago. So there you go. It's still covered in salt. There you go. It's all crusty. Still covered in salt. So that stuff may clean this inside. But look at the salt. Alright. This is all around the hole. So there you go. Now, since I got it out, I might as well clean it up and do what Larry said. We'll uh, soak this and see. Now here's the big difference. I soaked that anode in red lime. It's going to make it squeaky clean. So let's take a little of the salt off. Put it in this here container. Okay. It's going to be straight. Not even mixed with any water. Okay, here we go. It's very crusty. But I can see it's blue. It's got blue. Just like this blue. It's got blue all over it. So, let's... Let me take this bolt off. Let's sit that in there. Just like that. I'll even agitate it a little bit. And let's see if this takes off the salt. I mean, you know, if MSRP, this stuff's like $33, $32. So what are you getting for your $32? You know, it's the old conundrum here of how do we get salt out of our engines? Well, there really isn't no, there is no perfect solution here, folks. And it's just turning it blue. It's not getting rid of it. I mean, how long does that need to sit in there? If this is such a fantastic chemical, or whatever the hell it is, corrosion inhibitor salt removes and prevents salt deposits. Would you call that a deposit? I certainly would. I mean, look. That's called salt deposits. How long does this need to sit in there? Now I can show you the difference. Let's do that. All right, now let's take the rid lime. You want to shake your rid lime up from it settling or anything like that. Now take notice, this is aluminum and that's an O-ring. I'm not going to do anything. I am just going to sit it down in there exactly the same. Put the same level in there. Now, let's see what the scoop is. Let's put that down in there and I'll be right back. Alrighty folks, we're back. Can you see that bubble action going on there? Look at that bubbling right there. I'm hoping you can see it. That's what the red lime does. All right, so this has been about five minutes, and looky, the salt is disappearing. So there's the difference. Yep. Now I have a hole in here. This might have been a used anode I stuck in because they're not always when I when I check them during my oil change I check these every time I change my oil because every time I change my oil I also do my lower unit and I check the health of my anodes 
So there you go. This stuff may this stuff may put a nice little coating or something protects against engine corrosion. But I don't think it's anything miracle and I don't believe Saltex is going to be a miracle either. Here's what I think the best miracle is. When I use my barrel over there, I think probably the best preventative is warm water. Yes, sir. Believe it or not, warm water against salt. Hmm. So, if I let the barrel water get a little warm, fresh barrel water, and I let that get probably what the St. John's River is, 86, 87 degrees at times, or even a little bit more, maybe it's 90, okay? That's getting out more of the salt than I believe any of this other, you know, salt off type stuff does. But thanks, Larry. That is a little test. This is not going to eat up your anodes, that's for sure. This doesn't really eat up your anodes either, as you may know. It just really cleans them up, the old red line. See, this says unique product will dissolve two pounds of mineral deposits per gallon of red line. Two pounds of mineral deposits. All right, I'm going to end it. There you go. I'm going to put this anode back in. Now it's all nice and clean. I mean, it's clean. Look at that. It's clean. It's crusty looking, but it's clean. There you go. Thanks for watching. And I hope everybody enjoys my little research and development here. So I'll talk to you on the next one. Thanks for watching.